In this video, we solve problem 5.1.27 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says, in a state's pick three lottery, you pay 98 cents to select a sequence of three digits from zero through nine, such as 788. If you select the same sequence of three digits that are shown, you win and collect $344.72, complete parts A through D. The first question asks, how many different selections are possible and to find this um, number of different selections that are possible, we're just going to use that multiplication counting rule that we talked about in chapter four. So you've got three digits that you're selecting um, from zero through nine. So this can be a number between zero and nine, this can be a number between zero and nine, and this can be a number between zero and, or not zero and nine, uh, from, from zero all the way through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that's the, what this digit is. And the same is true for this digit and this digit. So if you're asking yourself how many different selections are possible, you ask yourself how many different ways can I select this first digit? I can select it 10 ways. And I can also select the second digit 10 ways because it doesn't matter if we pick the same number twice, that's totally fine. And we've got 10 possibilities for that last number. So if we multiply all of those together, we get 10 to the third, which is 1,000. So there are 1,000 different selections that are possible. So that's part A. Then part B says, what is the probability of winning? Well, this is a little bit ambiguous, but let's look at that problem statement further. It says, if you select the same sequence of three digits that are drawn, you win and collect this much. So if the answer was uh, 788, eight, if that was the winning sequence, 788 eight would be considered different from 878. Eight. We're talking about a particular um, sequence. We can't just um, change the order on these like we do when we're talking about combinations. Um, so there's really only one possibility um, out of those 1,000 different selections that are possible that would result in winning. So the probability of a win is the number of ways that you can win divided by the total number of different selections possible. So that's just one in a thousand or one one thousandth, same thing. And the third part of the question says, if you win, what is your net profit? Okay, well, we're told that you win and collect $344.72, but you already paid 98 cents for that ticket. So your profit comes from taking your winnings and subtracting the cost to play. So you're taking that $344.72 and you're subtracting that 98 cents. So we end up with 343 dollars and 74 cents. Oops, sorry, sorry, there we go. And lastly, we're asked to find the expected value. So if you are playing this game, the question is, how much do you expect to gain or to lose? Well, there are a couple of possibilities. You either win or you lose.
Now, if you lose um, the value that you stand to lose is that 98 cents. So we'll have negative 0 0.98 right here. Now the probability of losing that 98 cents is one minus the probability of winning. Now we already said that the probability of winning was one in 1,000 or one 1,000th. So the probability of losing is 999 out of 1,000 or 0 0.999. Now, if you win, um, the net profit is going to be uh, $343.74. Or um, so these are our variables. And then we just take those and multiply by the corresponding probabilities and then add them together to find the expected value which is the same as the mean. So we've got 0.999 times negative 0.98. And we get negative 0.97902. Then you've got 0 0.000, or excuse me, 0 0.001 times that amount if you win. And so that is 0 0.34374. And if you add those two together, you get the expected value. So I'm just taking that and I'm going to subtract that 0. 97902. So that's a negative 0 0.63528. And we're probably going to round to two decimal places. So your expected value is a negative 64 cents. Now the last part of this question, part E, says this, it says, if you bet 98 cents, in a certain state's pick four game, the expected value is negative 64 cents which is, or then it says, which bet is better? Basically the bet in the pick three game or the bet in the pet pick four game. Now, if you're making this decision, you're just going to compare the two expected values. You're going to say, okay, do I expect to gain or lose more when I play one game or the other? Um, I want the one with the larger expected value because having a larger expected value means that I did better in the end of the, after the game was over. But since these guys have the same expected value, it really doesn't matter which game you play. Um, neither bet is better than the other. So that's how we solve that problem and similar problems.